oils on the buttocks can be embarrassing and uncomfortable. This video will show you how to get rid of them using natural methods. Boils are a skin infection typically caused by the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. Boils can occur anywhere on the body but are most commonly found on the face, neck, armpits, buttocks, and thighs. A boil begins as a small red bump, gradually growing in size until it forms a white or yellow head. If left untreated, the boil will eventually burst and release pus. Here are best home remedies to cure boils on the buttocks. 1. Soak in cold water. One of the most common home remedies to treat boils on the buttocks is soaking in cold water. It would be best to soak your affected area in cold water for at least 5 minutes, 3 times a day. It helps relieve the pain and helps stop the infection from spreading. 2. Apply an ice pack to your buttocks. An ice pack can help reduce swelling and pain. When you wrap an ice pack around your buttocks, it will cause the blood vessels to constrict and close off, causing the tissue to freeze. You can apply this ice pack for up to 5 minutes. 3. Soak in vinegar and water for 15 to 20 minutes. Vinegar is a common home remedy for treating boils. You can soak in a cup of vinegar and water for 15 to 20 minutes, 3 times a day. Vinegar has antimicrobial properties that help relieve the pain, and it will also help prevent infection from spreading. Thus, it will also help to speed up the healing process. 4. Apply baby powder or cornstarch to your buttocks. Baby powder and cornstarch are both excellent at absorbing moisture from your skin. Baby powder can absorb any moisture, including sweat. Cornstarch also absorbs moisture efficiently, but it is better at absorbing sweat than baby powder. It is also good at absorbing any bacteria lurking in the area. Keep your buttocks dry with cornstarch by applying it to your entire butt area. It will help your skin stay dry and avoid further bacterial infections. 5. Apply olive oil or petroleum jelly to it for 20 minutes. Olive oil is a good moisturizer that can prevent dryness of the skin. It also can prevent your skin from cracking and chapping. Petroleum jelly is also very oily, and it can help you protect your butt cheeks from getting dry and flaky. You can use a good amount of both these products on your buttocks and leave them overnight. 6. Mix some baking soda with apple cider vinegar and apply it to your buttocks. The mixture will be good for your skin and help you get rid of the boil. Mix some of this paste in a bowl and apply it to your buttocks. It is one of the best remedies that you can try to get rid of boils. However, make sure not to use too much of the mixture because it might cause pain in your skin. 7. Apply garlic juice to the affected area. Garlic is a great remedy for boils because it can help get rid of the infection from your skin. You can make a garlic paste and apply it to the affected area. Apply the paste to the affected area and leave it for some time before washing it off with water. You can also apply garlic oil to the affected area to altogether remove the infection. 8. Apply tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is another excellent remedy for boils. It is an antiseptic and has been proven to help heal boils. You can apply tea tree oil directly on the boil or mix it with a carrier oil like coconut milk to make a paste that you can use on the affected area. 9. Mix turmeric, milk, and lemon juice. Turmeric contains curcumin, a natural antibiotic that is believed to help reduce the size of boils and apparent infection. Milk and lemon juice also contains calcium and vitamin C, which aid in healing the boil. The mixture of these ingredients works very well as a paste to apply to the infected area. Mix one part of turmeric, one part of lemon juice, and three parts of milk to make a paste. You can use it directly on the boil or mix it with coconut oil and apply it to the affected area. 10. Apply aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is an excellent remedy for boils. It works great as a soothing agent that reduces pain and speeds up the healing process of the spot. It is highly effective in treating boils as it contains antibacterial properties that fight off bacteria and fungus that cause the boil. Also, it has a mild antiseptic property that helps prevent and treat the infection. The gel is also suitable for healing minor cuts, burns, and other skin problems. 
11. Apply powdered ginger root. Ginger root is an excellent home remedy for boils. It has been used for centuries as a home remedy to treat boils and other skin problems. It acts as a perfect anti-inflammatory agent that reduces swelling and pain caused by the boil. It also has a soothing effect on the skin and helps quickly get rid of the infection. You can use the powder in a bath or rub it on your skin. 12. Use raw onion juice. Raw onion juice is a good home remedy for boils as it contains a natural antibiotic that kills the bacteria responsible for causing boils. You can apply a paste of raw onion juice and salt to the infected area a few times a day. It will help reduce swelling and redness of the area. 13. Make lemon juice and use it on the affected area. Lemon juice can be made at home, and it is a good home remedy for boils. Mix one tablespoon of lemon juice with salt, apply to the infected area, and cover it with a gauze. You can repeat this process twice daily until the boil is gone. 14. Apply capsicum juice to the boil. Capsicum or red chili juice is a natural remedy for boils because it contains the amino acid capsaicin, which has pain-relieving properties. Apply the juice to the boil and leave it on for about 30 minutes. It will stop the infection from spreading further and also help to reduce pain. Capsicum is also a natural antibiotic and helps kill bacteria that cause boils on the buttocks. As you can see, boils are common skin infections that a variety of bacteria can cause. The primary cause of boils is an infection, and the best way to prevent boils from occurring is by practicing good hygiene, like washing your hands and keeping the area clean. The next best way is to use natural remedies known for their antibacterial and healing properties. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to get rid of boils on the bum and thighs. Thanks for watching and bye for now.